I think it's important that when you have access to a platform in which your voice can be heard so easily, that there is a bit of responsibility to try to do something good with it. The idea that I can talk about anything I want is ridiculously inspiring. There are almost 600,000 homeless people in America, 8,742 homeless men, women, and children in San Diego alone. On Saturday and Sunday, October 10th and 11th, Hundreds of San Diegans will come out with their families and friends, stay late or sleep out overnight to help the homeless through this special evening. If you're in the area, do it. We're doing this. Do you think that you hear than me? Just watch the show and you will see. Todd Kirk here. Hey, it's Every once in a while we get an influx of questions. I don't know how, grow, how to grow a beard. I don't know how to groom my beard. Um, I don't really like beards. We don't really answer those emails. What's the right length for What's my right particular length? job? Am I Amish? Do I belong to an Amish community? So we're, we're here talking about some of the drawbacks to having a beard. And uh, on occasion, things can get stuck in your beard. I've caught a wave and I felt something hit me in the face. I had immediately a great white shark. But it wasn't a great white shark, it turned out to be just kelp. You never know what people are going to ask. You know? and the first question, uh, Rob from California said, Hey guys, love the show. Your beards are fantastic. What is your secret? Diet and lifestyle are everything. What you put in your body directly affects what comes out, especially your beard. We drink things like beer, whiskey, dog piss, motor oil. You drink dog piss? <laughs> I love my vino. I love yes. my vino! We snack on things like thunder and lightning. With regard to lifestyle, I think it's important that you drive a motorcycle. For everyday exercises, we do things like climb skyscrapers. We wrestle pit bulls, dodge bullets. Easy stuff. But mix it up and be your own person. Sleep on a bag of hot nickels if you want. Deep sea dive without the scuba gear. Just do things that are badass, and the beard will follow in your footsteps. We're, we're trying, we're, it's beard maintenance talk. Here, it happens here, all the time. Here's my... And I'm right, and he won't... He doesn't listen. My argument. If you're growing your beard, right? The argument's stupid. Even though it does get over your lip a little bit, it you, it needs to be all the same length. It you can't, can't be all the same length. It'll look like you wouldn't have a mouth. Way all. If you're gonna grow it, grow it all. It's just gonna look like you're gonna look like Harry and the Hendersons. Well, Remember Harry and the Hendersons? Bigfoot. Do you agree or not agree? That's a good question. Post for you online. Guys. What do you think? Do you John from Berkeley. John says I love my beard, uh, but the higher ups at my job have changed their policy on facial hair and have forced me to shave my beard. They only accept Fu Men. Fu Manchu. <sighs> do you know what we say to that? I look at it, you've got two choices here. Save your beard and get in line with all the other carbon cutout copycats that scour the earth to find a set of balls. Or two, you can drive through the front door. <laughs> two, you can drive through the front door of your office on your motorcycle, crack an IPA and take a piss on the copy machine. Then grab a box of photo paper and leave immediately. Why the photo paper? Easy. You're gonna have groupies afterwards, and they're gonna want signed, autographed pictures. We all have our inspirations. I'm pretty fortunate. I wake up every day and feel inspired. And there are three very important reasons for that. Thanks for watching. Show